Okay. Um, in this video, I'm going to solve this little um, problem to do with um, calculating the, other, the value of the Avogadro constant. Now, the question says the mass of one mole of, of one H atom. So this is a particular isotope of hydrogen. It's an isotope of hydrogen which has um, one proton. And that's it, basically, since the mass number is one. The mass of one mole of one H atoms is 1.0078 grams. And that, and that of one, one H atom is 1.6734 times 10 to the power of minus 24 grams. Use these data to calculate a value for the Avogadro constant accurate to five significant figures. Okay, now thinking about this, um, this question, one mole of a substance basically means um let's say you have one particle of that substance so one um one of these hydrogen atoms if you had one particle of this substance to get one mole of that particle we'd have to multiply it by the avogadro constant which is represented by na and this would give you one mole of the substance In, in, in numerical terms, numbers. So one more of the substance in terms of particles. So now, if we take this idea, right, and we relate it back to, um, in terms of mass, if we relate this idea to mass, we can say that if we were to multiply the mass of one of these H, so let's, let's represent this as the mass, let me use a slightly bigger M, the mass of, uh, of one of these 1H atoms, right, if we were to multiply this by the Avogadro constant, what we would get is the mass of one mole of 1H atoms. Whoa. And I use the N here because N represents like the symbol for moles. So this is the mass of one mole of the, of the, um, the substance, which is the 1H at isotope. And this would all be in grams. This would be in grams, and this would be in grams. Now, in order to actually find out this, we, we let's think to ourselves, what values do we know? Now, the question has told us the mass of one mole of this. So this question, the question set, tells us here, right here, the mass, the value of this. And the question tells us here, this, this part, Oh, no, 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 I got that mixed up. The question tells us here the mass of one mole of the substance. So because it says one mole. And the question says here, um, and that of one atom is 1.6734 times 10 to the minus 24. So this value here is going to be this, basically. It's going to be the mass of one of these, one individual isotope, one individual atom of an isotope of, of hydrogen which is the hydrogen one so what we can do now is rearrange this equation for na so that we can find out na and the way we do this is divide both sides of the equation by the mass of one atom of of hydrogen and and so basically if we were to rearrange this equation let me scroll down a bit if we were to rearrange this equation what we'd get is the mass the the Avogadro's constant is equal to the mass of one hydrogen um, atom in grams divided by no 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 the mass of sorry the mass of one mole this here the mass of one mole of the the hydrogen isotope or hydrogen atom in grams divided by the mass of an individual atom divided by the mass of an individual atom so this is this is the one mole and this is the individual atom in grams and we've been given both of these values in the question so all we need to do is enter put, put these values into this formula that we've created and so we're dividing um we're dividing this by this so which e that would equal 1.0078 was it 1.078 yeah 1.078 this being in grams divided by 
1.6734 times 10 to the minus 24. 1.6734 times 10 to the power of minus 24. And so if you if you put this into your calculator, right, the number which you're going to get is, let me put this in, 1.0078 divided by 1.6734 times times 10 to the power of minus 24 the number which you're going to get and since we've got grams divided by grams this value that we get does not have any units because the grams cancel the, the units cancel each other out so we have 6.022 and since it's um what was it five five significant yeah five significant figures this is four significant figures so five 6.0225 times 10 to the power of 23 and if you check your and well yeah this is the value this would be the value of the Avogadro constant 6.0225 times 10 to the power of 23 to five significant figures and if you check your um if you check your your data sheet for chemistry you'll find that this is the value that they give so yeah that's how you would work it out hope that's helpful